Welcome to Math Wisdom, where each problem is a step towards smarter you. All right, let's dive into some geometry, something I find just as fascinating as pulling off a massive YouTube challenge. You have to have a never-ending thirst for learning as I do. Imagine we've got this triangle, let's call it ABC, and we're doing something pretty cool with it. We're looking at its circumcircle. That's the circle that perfectly goes around the triangle. Now picture this, we draw tangents to this circumcircle at points B and C, and they intersect at this point T. It's like setting up for a mind-blowing stunt, but with math. Stick till the end, because by the end of this video, I will give you another problem based on the same strategy that we will use to solve this one, so that you can have more practice if you wish. Now we're gonna drop some perpendiculars from T onto the line AB, we call it X, the line AC, we call it Y, and line BC, we call it P. Here's the challenge. We've got to show that this point P, it's not just any point, it's the orthocenter of triangle AXY. That means P is where all the action happens, the point where the altitudes of triangle AXY crash into each other. So how do we tackle this? Let's input inspiration and output ideas. Take some time to think about it on your own. Let's get going. How does the line XP meet line AY? First up, we need to prove that the line from X to P is like a laser beam shooting straight down to line AY at a perfect 90 degree angle. And we do the same with Y to P and line AX. It is just enough to show that two altitudes of the triangle AXY meet at P because all three altitudes of a triangle meet at the same point. Step one, let's break it down. We've got TP and TX both hitting BC and BX at right angles. That makes a special setup where BP, T, and X all chill on the same circle. And because of that, the angle at X touching our triangle matches the angle at B because these are two angles that intercept the same arc. Since TB is tangent to our circle, angle BAC is equal to angle TBC. That's called a tangent angle. The measure of angle AXP is then 90 minus alpha. When you look at it, XP dropping down to AY is as perpendicular as it gets. And that's it for step one. Let's move to step two now. Rolling with that same logic, we can flip it around for YP and AX. Go ahead and try it on your own. If you understood that first step like a boss, you're totally set to crush the second one on your own. But hey, if that's not the case, no sweat. Just rewatch step one. The animation will guide you through step two. Let's watch it together. And there you have it, by proving those two key moves, we've shown that P is the orthocenter of triangle AXY. It's like nailing the perfect trick shot in pool. Everything lines up and bam, you've got it. Geometry might not be as flashy as filling my backyard with Orbeez, but it's got its own kind of cool puzzle solving thrill, doesn't it? Here is another geometry problem based of the same strategy. Put your solutions in the comments. I will review them for you. Keep in mind that people will think that you're crazy until you're successful then you are a genius. Keep practicing and keep working hard. Like and subscribe because I will post the solution in a future video.